The Starlight Visual Information System is an advanced visual analytics platform that enables information analysts to quickly make sense of large volumes of complexly related information. Starlight provides tools for quickly finding, organizing, and relating multi-source information, greatly increasing analyst productivity and effectiveness. In this brief example, I'll demonstrate how Starlight's multimedia data management and text and geospatial data visualization capabilities can be used to concurrently analyze text and UAV video data, all from within a single, seamless, high-productivity work environment. Here I've assembled a collection of about 600 text reports describing historical terrorist attacks in Afghanistan. Rather than read through each report one at a time, as many analysts commonly do, I can quickly build a visualization called a topic view, which provides me with a kind of table of contents for the collection. In this visualization, each report is represented as a point. Reports that are conceptually similar to one another are grouped near one another in the display, and major topical groups are labeled with summary terms. The topic view gives me an overall sense of what's going on, and enables me to quickly zero in on the reports that are most important to me. Here I can see, for example, a large group of reports describing arson attacks on girls' schools. I also see that there are a large number of reports of rocket and missile attacks. I'm particularly interested in rocket attacks on airports, so I'm going to perform a concept search to highlight all of the reports of this kind in the set. Concept searches enable me to find items that don't necessarily contain the exact query terms I use, but may describe similar concepts expressed in different language. The results of my search are highlighted. I can see that the majority of these are grouped together in the same cluster in the lower part of the view. This tells me that they are not only similar to my query concept, but also to each other. In other words, they describe a consistent pattern. Let's take a closer look at these. I can zoom in on the clusters to see additional detail. As I zoom, the titles of the reports are automatically displayed, enabling me to quickly get a better sense of the reports in any given topical area. As I explore further, I can see that there are a large number of reports of Taliban rocket attacks on civilian airports. I can easily access any individual report by simply double-clicking on it. This report describes a Taliban attack on the airport at Coast. Notice that there is another report close to the report I just looked at. Of all the other reports in the collection, this is the one that is most similar to the one I just read. When I open it, I see that this one describes a similar attack on the same airport, but one that occurred at a later date. The Starlight Topic View provides a powerful way to quickly identify and access conceptually similar text. I'm interested in where these rocket attacks are occurring, so I'm going to collect these reports into a new set and then put them into a geographic context. The original reports include the names of the cities where the attacks occurred, but piecing together an understanding of geographic patterns by reading each one of these reports would be difficult and take a lot of time. Instead, I use Starlight's data pre-processing capabilities to automatically geocode the place names in advance. Now I can easily plot the locations of the incidents by simply dragging and dropping the collection into a map. I can now see that most of these attacks targeted airports near the Pakistan border. I have access to predator video collected in this region, so next I'll retrieve some of that in the hope that one of these attacks may have been caught in progress. I can retrieve image or video data by searching any of its associated metadata, for example, acquisition time, platform type, or geographic region. The videos play automatically right in Starlight. I can move between the different video segments returned by my search exactly the same way I navigate any other kind of data. The metadata for these clips includes flight path information. I can plot the UAV flight paths associated with each clip by again simply dragging and dropping the records into my map. Now I can see how the predator flight paths relate to the locations of the incidents I'm interested in. I can see that the flight paths intersect the locations of several of the attacks, however these events may be separated by time. To find video clips that were collected at the same time an attack occurred, I'll set up a filter to show only records that fall within the same narrow time window. As I move the filter window forwards in time, I see only incidents and video collections that occurred at approximately the same time. I can see now that there was a predator near the coast airport at roughly the same time the airport was attacked. 
I can quickly access that video by simply double-clicking its flight path on the map. In summary, in a matter of minutes I've been able to quickly come to a general understanding of terrorist activity in my region of interest, identify a recurring pattern of rocket attacks on airports, and gain a more detailed understanding of these attacks. I've also been able to quickly locate UAV video that was collected at the same time and place an attack occurred, improving my chances of identifying the attackers. This brief demonstration shows only one of the many ways Starlight enables analysts to quickly, easily, and effectively make sense of large quantities of multi-source information.